the topic for today is pretty interesting and i would say pretty technical as well which is around statistics so i know by far i've covered a lot of stats economics accounting but we never discuss it from the concept of uh, like really discussing the concept or the theory or the gyan we really discuss about the applicability what is the problem that many of you working professionals or students might face or have already faced in your working professional life and how can you leverage or apply these tools and techniques to f- get further enhanced precise results and we is all about precision it teaches you the decision tools eventually that you can apply in your working ecosystem to get more precise results that is how i would actually want to define in a sentence what the entire mba curriculum is mostly about uh with that let's directly jump into the today's lesson which is about uh, simple linear regression um if you have heard this term brilliant if you have not heard this term probably just take a walk in the analytical analytics department of your organization or or your division and i'm sure you will figure out that a lot of people statistician decision making tools analytics tools are actually built the fundamental foundation many a times is simple linear regression here we are talking about the linear part so don't forget on that we are not talking about uh, non linear equation so what is the problem statement in most of the corporates right i'm not talking about gummins corporates you basically want to increase the profits and that means that you would want to increase the revenue as well right when you have to increase the sales their sales is basically the output and there are multiple input parameters as well right when you want to increase the revenue there can be multiple parameters you have to conduct marketing campaigns marketing campaigns can be online marketing campaigns can be offline you have to hire sales staff the sales staff can be young uh, fresh out of graduate uh, people or they can be uh, mature um, i would rather say working professionals as well who have certain bit of experience in their hand so how do you determine as a working professional when you have limited expense limited budget where all should i pump in my money so that my revenue is enhanced right so the problem statement is let's say you have just 1 dollar right and you have 10 opportunities or 10 ways through which you believe or you can hypothesize that my revenue will be enhanced in that case many a time simple linear regression come really really handy and uh, i have been in that situation where my peers from iit uh, etc were doing this really cool simple regression analysis and i was feeling why can't i solve for this or why am i not able to solve for this so don't worry if you have also felt that uh, it's just very natural um, the way we are educated cs just know accounting statisticians just know statistics the objective is to build a holistic uh, a uh, skills profile uh, in these uh, video lessons so basically uh, with that i want to jump into how do you what is simple li- linear regression right i'll share my screen and i'll quickly show you how does a uh, an equation of simple linear regression look like so you see this equation right y equal to alpha plus x1 plus x2 plus x3 here i'm basically trying to signify that y is directly correlated to x1 x2 and x3 parameter now the coefficients right let's say you see this equation y equals to alpha plus 5x1 plus 3x2 the coefficient basically determines the weightage so y is directly proportional to x1 x1 is the dependent variable y is oh sorry y is the dependent variable and x1 is the independent variable so if and 5 is the weightage so y is clearly more dependent on x1 than y is uh, than relatively to x2 right so similar when you f- start formulating these equations that is when you start realizing that yes i need to pump more money in x1 x1 can be any variable your marketing your sales staff or your branding campaigns which can increase your y y can be your revenue here now the next question will be shatakshi how do we eventually arrive at this equation this is literally high school maths we all studied at least in india this is basic microsoft excel work right remember when you would learn in classroom how to draw simple line charts with two column data in one column you have uh, let's say the number of years of work experience 15 16 2 0 and in y column you have another set of data which is uh, for 15 years of experience somebody could generate 600 dollar of revenue for 15 years of experience somebody could generate 300 dollar of value you have that data right you select that table and you draw a line graph 
that is what is basically you need to do this is as simple as that i go back to sharing my screen to show you this is basically how a sample data can look like you can use excel and tada you have your simple linear regression a beautiful line as well right <coughs> sorry mind my cuff not covid uh, and uh, basically once you start plotting this line there will be an equation that will come like uh, come to you through excel which should look ideally something like this now before i wrap up this uh, lesson with you uh, i want to actually talk about very quickly r square value now you might ask me shrakshi what is r square value everything was just simple and intuitive till now r square is a value which has to be between 0 and 1 right it helps you understand if x variable and y variable are even correlated to each other right if you find that and in the excel uh, details of that chart that you will get you will get r square value right if you cl right click on it you should be able to find the r square value you figure out that the r square value which has to be between 0 and 1 is coming out to be extreme small right really zero or in small decibel point close enough to zero that means that x and y are not correlated to each other and they are not dependent upon each other right so what i am trying to say is no matter how much so ever it rains shatakshi is not going to fall unwell both the parameters are unrelated to each other so if that is what you found then you should not pump money in your marketing campaigns if x is your marketing campaign y is your revenue however on the other hand if you find that r square value is closer to 1 and decimal points closer to 1 then it further signifies that your uh, variables are correlated to each other i know it was little technical but this is a really simple cool tool right it allows you to really grasp when you are surrounded with such chaotic multiple parameters and in consulting we always say that you can never solve for the 100th parameter there will be 100 parameters contributing to the success of an ecosystem you always do an 80 20 you find 20 percentage of the parameters impacting 80 percentage of the revenue that is what you want to solve for i take a step back here i hope this uh, mba vishatakshi lesson was uh, helpful